What are you doing? I'm practicing for when they put me in suspended animation. Oh, cool. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into D News. I'm Tara. And I'm Trace. The idea of putting people into suspended animation has been around a long time, but now, at long last, scientists say that we might be able to try it for real. Yes. What we call suspended animation, or cryogenics, is what doctors typically refer to as emergency preservation and resuscitation. It's not quite as snappy. No. They do this by basically cooling your body rapidly, slowing its metabolic functions, and eliminating the need for oxygen. Eventually, your body goes into a state of cardiac arrest, so you're clinically dead, but you're not totally dead. By replacing your blood with a cold saline solution, basically cold salt water, doctors can cool your body to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, almost half normal body temperature. The cold saline stops activity on the cellular level and the chemical reactions in your cells slow down. Thus, they don't need as much oxygen and therefore you are considered suspended. Under normal circumstances, the brain can only survive for around six minutes after the heart stops sending it blood. But your brain is very sensitive to interruptions in oxygen flow, which is why you get dizzy when you stand up too fast. It's because blood is not getting to your brain quickly enough. So how does this not just kill somebody? Well, clinically speaking, they are dead already. This process just redefines what death actually means. Wow, that's cool. When cells can't burn O2 for energy, they use a process called anaerobic glycolysis. It happens naturally during exercise. If for some reason the cell can't get all the energy it needs during extended activity, anaerobic glycolysis will fill in the gaps, providing 10 to 120 seconds of energy per cell. Yes, and doctors are taking advantage of that process by doing it at extremely low temperatures. So the slow moving cells begin anaerobic glycolysis while waiting for oxygen that will never actually come. Boom, that 120 seconds might extend several hours. I mean, it's not the months or years promised to us by sci-fi novels, but it is a pretty good start. Yeah, that's pretty good. The experiments have been proven to work so far on pigs, which have similar internal systems to humans. And at the moment, it will be only used for people with the most severe trauma. Right, so gunshot and stabbing victims, for example, typically lose a lot of blood, and that loss can cause brain damage or death. So, if this process were implemented quickly enough, it could give surgeons the time they need to fix something that would otherwise kill a person within minutes. The saline will be pumped immediately into the heart and brain because they're the most susceptible to the lack of oxygen. And to warm them back up, they just reintroduce warm oxygenated blood and they say the heart will normally just restart itself. That's pretty incredible. Doctors at UPMC Presbyterian Hospital in Pittsburgh, where the system is set to begin, say that once perfected, it could go on for several hours. So perhaps we'll get our science fiction future yet. What do you think of all this? Is it cool? Is it scary? There's a comment box, so go down and use it and subscribe for more D-News videos every day of the week. And while you're clicking around, why not check out Anywho, a show about everything. Bear attacks, drug smuggling, bees in. This particular episode is about how cryonics work, so go learn something. And thanks for watching D-News.